you know, in in uh, so I became independent in '91. Just for me to finish properly this video here in respect to Mark Boris Andrianich Kirka Pharmaceutical is the most important uh, factor I did not I did not mention in this video. It's a really good video, but there is a there is a very the most important factor why I am going to destroy this Andrianich family. Why my legacy I must destroy them. I must decimate them. I must take every fucking possession they are in possession. Here I'm going to explain to you what they did to me. These people destroyed my life, literally. What Misha Andrianich, I don't know if you can see him anywhere on the internet. Yeah, you can see him, he's here. You, he, you can see him, he's posing here. This is, this is a son from Boris Andrianich. He somewhat does look like a father. <clears throat> he does look like a father, somewhat. Oh, and the picture, the picture is nowhere. <clears throat> so... There is something super, super filthy that I did not mention you know, that I did not mention about this. They have a weekend house at Tarska Gora. And when Slovenia became independent in 1991, and this was a pro-Yugoslav family, very, very much pro-Belgrade, because they learned to suck the money from down there. Uh, and since they learned that Slovenia will not bend down, since they couldn't break my spirit, they tortured heavily for Milosevic. This family was involved in Magdari torture, MK Ultra torture. They were not really any kind of sympathetic toward me. And Slovenia did become independent, and they continue to torture, and they continue to torture. And along the torture, they started to turn masses of money, masses of money, I'm telling you. They started to make money, they started it. One, one time, Misha Andrianich told me half a million euros was thrown on the table. And you're talking about a small pharmaceutical store in the center of the city. That's why I know that these people have money somewhere. They are loaded with the money, they have money somewhere. And I told Misha, I told him, he, you know what he told me? He also has a daughter, Moitza, and that also was advertised to me as a future wife since I was a child. And I told him, I told him, Misha, uh, I'm, I'm done with this stuff. Slovenia is independent. They lost all the bets against me. I respected the family, Andrianich family, because of Andrianich's name. Because of his father, because of Boris Andrianich. I didn't want to have a problem with this. I'm an honorable, honorable guy. And this is a scumbag. These are parasites that look like honorable, but are voracious scumbags. I told them, what are you going to do with this money? I told him, what are you going to do? Because it was one contract after another contract. Misha Andrianich became a broker. How much officially he was recognized as a broker? How much officially did he collect its percentage for the transactions? I do not know. But I know that was one deal after another. And it was for a considerable amounts of money, and he got paid considerable amounts of interest for this brokerage. 
pharmaceutical business. I told him, Misha, open the fucking company. He said, we already have the opening. And he said that what we will do, because I dictated him, I told him, what you need to do, I told him. Now, you need to, the company, either you open a new company or use the old company, whatever the fuck you're going to do. But I need you to expand your company into production. I need you to expand this pharmacy and to the next level because we need to go big business. Yeah, this was me. I was probably, I don't know, 18, 19 years old, 19 years of age. I told him, you need to, you need to do this. I told him, Misha, the torture is so bad that I can take no longer. They were ready to kill me when Slovenia became independent from all the sides, from all directions. And he said to me, I will. Okay, I will do it. I will do it. We will do something. I took another two years of shit. 93, I couldn't put up with this idiot anymore. He tortured. He engaged in a torture. He participated in a torture. The torture went all over the place. He was just one of the anti ultra locations they would deliver me to. And... It was totally unbearable in in 95 thanks god i somehow managed to escape the united states of america because here i don't think i would even last much torture went on but not a degree as insane as you would hear nothing in the world russians and serbs wouldn't pay to get me killed there was nothing in the world they wouldn't pay entire world was based on crime against me, literally through the crime against me. That's how bad this case was. He did not open anything. Uh, his pharmaceutical store still existed out there. They were still doing small sales. Nothing really went through. Whatever came from United States of America, it appeared the store was still there. Uh, nothing ever happened with the fucking store. And uh, it, like I said, in 1995, for a new year, for New Year of 1995, when it was 1994, for the new year, I departed to the United States of America and got literally into physical confrontation with this human shit. Literally got into the physical confrontation with this, with this dunk. With his dung, literally. Because he could, he did not manage anything. And, in fact, he enjoyed in the torture. He enjoyed in the fact that he was killing me. That he was ripping me apart. Out of all the transactions, out of the promises, out of the MK Ultra agreements I made with this dunk. He did not realize anything other than really really damaged me my health he really caused a lot of trauma and all a lot of physical damage with this allowing me to sleep supporting literally police wherever he could to backstab me to get me killed systematically and in his idea what he told me see he continued to do this stuff he came with the idea that he's going to take over kirka pharmaceutical through me he said, we alone cannot do nothing, but with you, we can do it. Well, the most important part I did miss in a part number one, but this is the most important part about this Andrianich family, this Andrianich, this glorious Andrianich family, nobody and nothing, nobody and nothing. Truly, you could not believe how a plane carts with the people with a uh, Listen, folks, I'm sorry, I was raised like an imbecile. 
I was raised like in Bessel. I was, my parents raised me like in Bessel. I am, I feel guilty in a sense that I really couldn't do anything about it. Sorry, I was, I was in a, such a violent circle. The circle was so violent, it, it, it angers me because the circle is so violent that it doesn't make any sense for me to say anything further. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. I, I couldn't change if I wanted to, I couldn't change anything about it. It was so violent. The circle, the circle of people around me was so violent. He was directly connected with the police, with a fire department here, with absolutely everything. And I was going to say, what your name, what your last name, you know, and presence of somebody like, you know, they put him like a general director, Kirk and so on, you know, director of the Kirka Pharmaceutical, Andrianic, of course, Andrianic and so on, Andrianic. Um, You wouldn't believe what kind of wonders your family name can do for you, even if it's a scumbaggery, but that you have a strong name that people recall from the past and they got jobs and so on. You wouldn't fucking believe how powerful that can be against somebody who eventually becomes raided like in my case in 2013 after 40 years of torture uh, this scumbags delivered me from psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polia through the Slovenian Supreme Court for the Slovenian justice system a label a license plate paranoid schizophrenic They say, well, imposture, what the fucking imposture does to you, if you are honorable, if you are a strong person, doesn't matter how strong and how honorable, you will fuck you up, we will run you over, motherfucker, scumbagger, scumbagger will fucking run you over like merciless society, fucking ran you over like you don't fucking exist, like a, like a tank goes through the car, like you don't fucking exist. Wipe you out from the face of the earth like nothing. This is what they did to me. Zero gratitude for everything. Zero zilch. And the company with the 5,000 people right here exists because of me. I. I built this company. Nobody else did. Nobody else did it myself. I built that company. I paid for that company. And even more so, I paid for that company because nobody, because you wanted to delete me. You wanted to erase me. And you did erase me. You keep me dead. You keep me walking dead man for 52 years. It's not a dirty secret. It's a dirty country. It's a dirty nation. It's the kind of pedophilic, pedophile attitudes. Disgusting. Something that is just a phenomena special about the people here from Slovenia. This is what this Slovenian characteristic is. It's about about something about Slovenian, if you want to know, about Slovenian, the Slovenian, what the meaning, the Slovensky, Slovenia, this beautiful Russian flag, Slovenia. Pa Slovensko, I don't know. I don't know, was it Milosevic that learned from here and Putin that learned from here or was it that Slovenes learned from over there? I don't fucking know. I'm not sure. But it's quite disgusting. Even for the girls, if they get raped here, it's indecent and it's actually immoral and it's actually against the law to report the crime to the police station. Especially if some in a parenthesis, honorable citizens are involved in a rape. It did happen here. From what I understand, they went straight after the girls and punished them. There is no rape in Slovenia. There is no rape. There is no rapes here. This is perfect place. 100%. 100%. Everything normal. 